Hi, I'm Paul Heaney, VP and Editorial Director of Design World. Encoders are an important part of almost any motion control system. And with encoder technologies evolving at a rapid pace, there's a suitable design for virtually any rotary or linear application. These designs range from rugged magnetic encoders that can withstand shocks and vibration without compromising performance to glass scale linear encoders featuring submicron resolution for coordinate measuring machines. To help you navigate the choices and select the best encoder for your application, Motion Control Classroom breaks down the various encoder technologies, looks at the difference between accuracy and resolution, and explains quadrature encoding and how it can be used to boost encoder resolution. This installment of Motion Control Classroom also includes primers on how to decide whether you need a rotary or a linear encoder and how to determine what resolution your application requires. And although encoders are most often used for angular or linear position measurement, we explain how two techniques, pulse counting and pulse timing, can be used to measure speed. What else? You'll also find a library of examples demonstrating how and where each encoder technology is applied and learn how trends in IoT and robotics, especially collaborative robotics and AGVs, are driving new encoder designs and increased functionality. You can find these and many more resources on motion control components and systems at designworldonline.com/mc2. Thanks for watching.